everyone, my name is Linda Lee. I'm the president and CEO of KCS, Korean Community Services of Metropolitan New York. Our organization has been around for about 48 years in New York area, and we provide a whole host of multi-social services to the Korean community in um, Queens, Manhattan, Brooklyn, as well as now New Jersey. So at the very core of who we are and what our mission is, it's really essentially to help those in need to lift them into a place of uh, betterment where they can be independent and thriving. So whether it's workforce, ESL, all the different services that we provide, um, it's really for the sole purpose of trying to make our community healthier and thriving. Um, and I just wanted to take this time to really thank Judy Yu uh, from the Asso Federation of Korean American Associations of the Northeast region the Council of the General's Office. Um, and thank you so much to both of them for putting together this conference and workshop together. One, if I actually, you know, ma um, majored in um, economics when I was in college and I thought I wanted to go into investment banking and make a crap ton of money after I get out of college. Um, and then the summer before my senior year of college, um, I took a job working as a camp counselor at for, for inner city kids from the Bronx, right? And these girls were like nine years old, both parents are in jail, incarcerated, being raised by their grandparents who are abusing them, and they have to be adults at the age of nine. And after that summer working with these uh, girls, I was like, wow, I don't know what it is I'm gonna do later, but I just know I wanna help people. And that's all I knew. What led me to get into social work was I ran, I was at a John Mayer concert <laughs> at Jones Beach when I was like in my early mid twenties. And I ran into an old church friend at that concert that I hadn't seen in at least like five years. And she had just started the social work program at Columbia. And she was like, you know, I could really see you going into social work. I think this is a perfect field for you and your personality. And I was like, social work? What the heck is social work? I didn't know what social work was actually. And then when she told me about that program, I did a lot of research when I got home and I was like, oh my God, I had no idea that there's an entire field dedicated to just helping people, <laughs> right? Like we as Korean Americans, we're not taught about social work. Like we're taught, okay, you can go into law, you can go into medicine, you can go into finance, right? And those are the more traditional paths that a lot of folks I know went into. But, you know, for me, when I told my parents I was going to social work school, they're like, what is that? And I was like, I don't know either, but I'll find out and I'll tell you about it. <laughs> so, you know, it's actually an amazing field. I think we need a lot more Koreans going into social work. We need folks that are bilingual going into that field. And it's so broad, like you can be in a corporate setting, you can be in a nonprofit setting, you could be in a for-profit setting. Um, and I have, you know, I have to say, it's been such an amazing learning experience. Um, and I really like, that's one thing I'm a huge advocate for is we need more Korean Americans going into social work for sure. If I look at my life and all of the milestones that I've had, I really felt like they were God ordained paths, right? Um, and, and for me, it was always like, I, I didn't know what the next step was necessarily, right? Um, it was it was always something that I would just kind of sit and pray about, like, God, where do you want me to go? Where do you want to lead me? And then that's what would happen, right? These opportunities and doors. And I said, I need like a very obvious kind of like, you know, I, f I feel like there's people that were placed in my life at the right time for the right reason, right? Um, and I think there's a lot of that that speaks into my story as well. Thankfully, my, my parents are very understanding. I think they've always been very supportive. In that sense, they were always kind of more Americanized in the sense that they wanted me and my sister to be happy. I mean, they did have moments, of course, where the tiger mom thing came out and, and all of that. But to be honest, I, I don't think they had an issue with me going to social work school because my older sister, <laughs> right after college, told my parents, hey, I'm moving to Egypt. And then my parents were like, what? <laughs> like, where did we go wrong as Asian parents, right? Um, and my sister was like, dead set, very, you know, ambitious. 
So my parents would talk to me because they were freaked out and worried. Like, why does she want to go to Egypt? Why does she want to move there? Like, what is she going to do? And I told my parents, I'm like, listen, don't worry. She's a smart girl and she's one of the most ambitious people I know. I was like, she'll be fine, right? She's going to be fine. Um, and so fast forward, my sister um, went to graduate school at USC in international relations, then went to law school and in between was doing a lot of UN work. She was actually part of the trial. She was one of the attorneys that was part of the trial involving Charles Taylor, who's the former Liberian president that um, started the whole child soldier diamond conflict issue in Africa. So I was actually sitting in the courtroom with my sister in Sierra Leone when they read him the guilty verdict. So she was working in The Hague as part of the ICC, International Criminal Court. And so, you know, and she, she studied Arabic. And so she is a Korean American woman who reads, writes, and speaks Arabic fluently. And she's now a US diplomat in Saudi Arabia in Riyadh. So I have her to thank for the fact that <laughs> my parents were like, social work school? All right, fine. Um, but I, I, think, I think both of us took very non-traditional paths in our career. And um, I think because my sister kind of went through it first and sort of like, you know, paved the way with my parents, it, it did help them to open their eyes a little bit more and, and be supportive. But I think by nature, my parents are very supportive folks in general. I think, um, you know, they were very hardworking small business owners. They had two dry cleaners um, in, in Long Island and they, but they always led by example. And, um, you know, case in point for my parents, like my dad at the age of 61 or two sold his store and was like, what am I going to do for the rest of my life? And so he felt very strongly that he was getting called to be a missionary. So he went back to get his second master's, got his MDiv, um, and then became an ordained pastor, missionary, all that stuff. And then him and my mom are actually now in Guatemala. Um, as missionaries. And they took six months to a year. They spent the first year just learning the language because they understood if you're going to reach people, you have to speak the language, right? So my parents, I think, innately have always taught me and my sister to always learn and always grow and never stop learning. It, they should, I think people should always question and they should always explore and find out answers on their own because everyone thinks Oh, nonprofit, there's no money to be made. But I have to say, even nonprofit organizations these days, the salaries are very market level. So as an industry, I know that nonprofit organizations are also slowly starting to change their mindset. It's very mission driven, right? Um, and there is a path and a career that you can make from that. Same thing with going into politics and government. I think there's this, um, you know, I, I don't know if, if younger Korean American folks realize this, but there are a ton of opportunities working in government. And if you're talking about stable, as well as the best benefits you're ever going to get, that's, that's where, you know, government jobs are. And there's a ton of career opportunities there to be able to create laws and legislation that actually positively impact our communities. That's not something you're necessarily going to be able to do on a broad scale as a doctor. And I'm not trying to say that doing the traditional path is bad. I think that's actually good as well, right? If that's where you feel passionate towards, then you should definitely go that direction. But um, I think it's always worth at least exploring and looking into different options and talking to as many people as possible about different opportunities and careers. So I, I, I would strongly advise just to, you know, ask as many people around as possible. Um, and just keep an open mind because there is so much more out there um, than I think what we know as a Korean community.